At home, in the USA, it belongs to the compact class, but for us, the size of this car is the most suitable. This model is quite affordable, well-equipped and not at all ruinous in content. Quite recently, before the increase in customs duties, in January 2009, used Chrysler Sebring was very actively brought to us, and about five years ago it was popular in the Russian secondary market. There are several reasons for this, but the main one is the affordable price. The choice of the buyer was offered a sedan, a coupe and a convertible built on its basis. Moreover, the cars differed from each other not only externally, but also in the interior. Three petrol engines were installed on this model, four-cylinder 2.0L, 141 horsepower, and 2.4L, 152 horsepower, as well as AB6 2.7L, 203 horsepower. A five-speed mechanics and a four-band automatic were combined with the fours, and the V6 was equipped exclusively with a four-speed automatic transmission. Advanced. The Americans positioned the Chrysler Sebring as a model of the family segment, although in terms of size it could also qualify for the business class. Thanks to the use of Chrysler's proprietary forward cab concept, the so-called advanced forward cabin, the car is quite spacious inside, like a European business class sedan. Accordingly, a person of any height and physique will not have difficulties when placing behind the wheel. In the back seat there is a large supply of legroom, but due to the tilted rear roof pillars, passengers' heads can rest against the ceiling. The equipment of the American Sebring is very generous. The standard was four power windows, front airbags, radio with CD changer, air conditioning and automatic transmission. Often came across cars with leather interior, electric heated seats and alloy wheels. Motors are generally reliable. True, inline fours are characterized by sticking of the valve of the crankcase ventilation system. For prevention, it is recommended to clean it at every MOT. If, when inspecting the machine, a stain is found on the valve cover in the area of backslash U200B backslash U200B drain tube, it means that the ventilation system is clogged. There is a reason to bargain and throw off the price by 50 hundred rubles. Replacing the head gasket, about 6,000 rubles. Injectors, from 3,200 rubles, of the injection system usually take care of about 150,000 kilometers. The resource of drive belts is 80,000 kilometers, and the cooling system pump, 2,500 rubles, is 120,000 to 150,000 kilometers. A common defect, a machine with manual switching mode auto stick enters emergency mode due to failure of the control unit. In the suspension, after 50,000 kilometers, the stabilizer struts wear out, the front ball bearings, which were assembled with a lever, 2,890 rubles each, live a little longer. After that, you need to set the camber and toe angles. The rear suspension is multi-link with anti-roll bars. The main expenses in it will be required by 120,000 kilometers, when you have to change the lower levers along with silent blocks, about 5,500 rubles. The body resists corrosion well, but European versions are preferable to American ones, the body parts of the latter rust faster. Electrical equipment is not complex design. It cannot be called problem-free although system failures occur infrequently. However, to get to the battery, you have to disassemble the half car. The engines are unpretentious and consume the 90-second gasoline, although they are sensitive to the quality of the oil. Until 2004, only Mopar 5W30 or 10W40 synthetic oil was recommended, and later Mobil, one of the same viscosity. Front suspension will not ruin the owner. The main expenses are regulatory. For example, Brake pads, 1850 rubles per set, and discs, 2750 rubles each, live 20,000 and 50,000 kilometers, respectively. 